Uh, today we are solving the programming challenges in the book starting out with Java and we are in problem 9 so basically what we have to do is to create a sales receipt and then print it uh, to a text file uh, the sales receipt uh, contains um, the unit price, the quantity, subtotal, sales tax, uh, sales tax and total and we have to modify uh, programming challenge 8 that we created in the last video so let's let's begin first we have to create uh, I already created a class uh, called sales receipt and this is just a description for the problem then I will say private int quantity private retail modification retail then we have to create the constructor for this class say sales uh, receipt the sales receipt constructor take is uh, only one uh, only one argument which is the quantity say q say quantity equal equal q then we have to instantiate this class retail modification that we created um, earlier in this series uh, we are using this class because we want to uh, use it, it is uh, methods like get a retail price in order uh, to find the unit price for uh, the sales receipt class so to instantiate this class all we have to do is to write retail new retail modification and and this uh, class uh, take is 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 overloaded is overloaded uh, con uh, constructor uh, which which basically means you can either give um, you can e either give arguments or you can leave it as as blank for it is constructor so in our case in this case we want to give the the we have to fill the arguments the first argument would be the description of the product we'll say candy candy bar the next is the quantity which is q for our case then it would be the whole whole sale price I will just pick um, two dollars and lastly it would be the retail price in the example they gave in this program challenge they use ten dollars so we'll use that and it's a double after we create uh, the constructor uh, we have to create um, get quantity method public and get quantity and we'll return the quantity of the products then in the sales receipt they list a unit price so we create a unit price method public double get unit price then we'll we will return uh, the unit price and the, the way we can find it is to use uh, this class this is the main this is the main reason we are using this class you say retail get retail and that's it it will it will return um, it will basically return this number ten dollars then they said we have to use uh, we have to print subtotal we say public double get subtotal um, subtotal uh, subtotal the way we can find subtotal is to use this method again and uh, we'll say retail get retail time is quantity and 
it says sales tax you have to bring sales tax and we'll use another method uh, double get sales tax will return uh, whatever the subtotal is get subtotal time is 0 0.06 And uh, six percent. I'm using six percent because that's the last the example that they used for our previous uh, videos. And then they said, uh, lastly, you have to return the total. And we can we can return the total is a public double get total return get uh, subtotal get. Uh, sales tax uh, when you add uh, the sales tax and the subtotal you would get the total so this uh, class is finished uh, we created the constructor we created uh, all the methods the quantity subtotal sales tax and the total and uh, all we have to do is to create a main method and demonstrate it and um, they said we have to use we have to ask the user for the quantity before we do that we have to create a retail uh, modification object uh, it will not take anything for in this case and after that we have to create a scanner SC new scanner then uh, after that we have to ask the user for the quantity then store it in in quantity integer value quantity after that we have to create a sales receipt object we'll call sales sales then this only takes one argument which is the quantity after that they said we have to uh, dump all the information to a text file and the easiest way of creating um, a text file is to so write uh, this uh, is to use a print writer and I will say pw new print writer it takes two argument the first would be the file name I will call sales receipt txt and then this would be a format utf8 then uh, maybe they want to you have to catch the exception just click the red uh, bulb and write add exception or surround surround by try and catch after that what we have to do is pw print line the first line would be the title of the content which is a sales sales receipt after that after that we have to write unit price then we would we would call sales get unit price then we have to copy multiple times the next thing is quantity get quantity the next thing would be subtotal get subtotal 
and lastly it would be the total after we we print uh, the content to a file we have to uh, close it otherwise it will not save anything to the file then we have to run um, we have to run the program it would it would the program uh, the text file would appear here so run the program they ask us the quantity let's say five as you can see here is our um, our text file and this is the contents as they said uh, sales receipt as the title unit price ten dollars quantity five subtotal price is 50 because five times ten is fifty and the total which would be uh, tax plus subtotal is fifty three uh, so this is uh, this is finished and uh, I will see you next time I hope uh, this helps and uh, you understood it well and I will see you in the next programming challenge would which, which which would be number 10 thank you have a nice day